This is how I have been moving my Lincoln Tombstone welder around. This works, but it's a pain in the butt sometimes. Lincoln offers a wheel kit that fits in his hole, and while I'm sure that'd work, I've got two welders, so I should make a cart for myself. And if I build a cart, I can add some storage to the shop. I already had these casters for the front, and I went and bought these wheels for the back, and I've already got some steel, so we can get started. I'll be using a cope joint like this for many of the joints in this project. This kind of joint is strong, and it keeps all the pieces flat to each other throughout the assembly. I've already welded the basic frame together, and I've learned from experience that you need to check the fit of things now. I didn't leave a lot of extra room for the welder, so we need to make sure it fits now before I build too much else on this frame. And it does fit. Not by much, but it does fit. Next, I'm going to mount the casters in front. I thought about just bolting them on, but I think it's going to be easier just to weld them on. There's no reason to have to take these off again anyway. I welded the casters to the front corners, keeping them just inside the framework. With the casters on, I blocked the frame up so that was level. This will let me figure out how big the mount has to be to get the rear tires on and still keep the frame level. The rear wheel mounts turned out to be a simple plate with a bolt welded through it to serve as an axle. And in here I'm tacking in the uprights that will make up the back of the cart. I like using these Bessie magnets to hold the pieces in place while I tack them in. Then I can remove the magnet and use a good square to check the piece to make sure it's properly aligned before I weld it. I'm just going to weld them around the outside seams for now. If I need to make them stronger I can do that later after we have more of it assembled. And here I'm using another one of the Bessie squares to position one of the handles. I like to the position of these handles but you'll notice later that I've changed them slightly. And this is what we wound up with on the first day. I ran out of steel and I made a mistake on another part, so that's going to be it for today. I'm well into day two here and I've already made the shelf frames and welded those in. Now I have the cart upside down because I want to put a strap across the bottom of all the shelf frames. I want to just set a piece of sheet metal into the shelf frames so I can take them out for cleaning and make all that easier. And to do that we need a strap across the bottom. One strap like this across the middle of all the shell frames gives it plenty of strength and the sheet metal holds up fine. Now with the cart right side up you can see the shell frames and you'll notice that I'm holding them to one side because I want to put some clamp storage on one side of the cart. I'm just using a piece of half inch diameter steel tubing for clamp rack bars. There will be two bars for the clamps, the top one will be for the smaller clamps and the bottom one for the bigger clamps. The handles are made from 1 inch tubing welded to 1 inch angle iron. I decided to grind all the sharp corners off and fill it up with welds so I had a nice solid round piece up here. Here I've got most of the top welded up. I used all 1 inch angle iron with cold joints to make this grid that should make it easier for me to clamp things down for welding. And then I decided to weld up all the seams and then grind it flush so the top looked like all one piece. I know some of you are thinking that that probably added some time to this project, and you're right. But I have these welders and grinders in the shop, and I have to justify their existence, so I'm welding up everything. And then there was the grinding all those welds flat, and that took some time also. But now with all the grinding done and the top grid clamped onto the frames ready for welding, things are looking pretty good, and I'm glad I went through that extra work. I even took the time to make sure that my grid top is level to the world. And then I went ahead and welded the top to the frame. And the last thing for day two is to bend up the pieces for the rod rack on the back of it and weld those in place. Day three was devoted to painting the cart and cutting the sheet metal for the shelf floors. And this is day four, the cart's all done and everything's all loaded onto it. It's hard for me to believe that I had all this stuff sitting around someplace else before I built this cart. Here you can get a better idea of how I was hanging the clamps on this side of the cart in that recess where I held the shelves back. And on this side we have access to all three of the shelves. And here's the finished rod rack on the back of the cart. And now all that's left is to try it. And it works fine. I'm real happy with the cart. I've used it a bunch since we started this video and it's doing everything I wanted.